Hey guys, so I haven't done a blog on this yet, but um, there's something that I want to talk about. And this is in like breeding dogs or even dogs that you're letting um, the females come into their first heat. So one of my females came into heat. Um, I noticed some white, off-white, weird mucus discharge coming from her. Um, I set up her appointment for like three days later. But as the days went on, that discharge changed color. But here's the thing. With white discharge, you have to be really careful because that could mean that there's pyometra. I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff. We'll get to that in a second. But pyometra is a, is a uterine infection. Um, in Latin, pyo literally means pus and the mitra is um, uh, uterus. So the early symptoms of this is vomiting, loss of appetite, lethargy, increased thirst, and frequent urination. Um, there's two different kinds of pyometra, open and closed. So basically, the, um, the bacteria goes in through the open cervix, and then it starts to like do its thing and cause infection. Um, in open pyometra, the cervix stays open and that infection is allowed to drain out. Both of these are serious, by the way. Closed, the cervix closes, the infection builds, and then it, it, it like literally, it's like an abscess ready to burst, right? So with open pyometra, you might see that green whitish discharge it has a really bad smell, like fishy. I've never dealt with it, but um, this is like my worst nightmare. Like I would never wish pyometra on anyone. Um, there are a couple of different um, treatments for it. The, the first one is a shot or like antibiotics or whatever, but they have to be hospitalized for that and you have to catch it in the early stages. The other treatment is spay, <laughs> which is obviously the recommended now, if you're, um, if you're trying the antibiotics more often than not, you know, you have a breeding dog that's, that's worth a lot of money. I personally wouldn't risk it for that. But anyways, so I took the dog to the vet because I noticed this nasty discharge. And of course, all the worst things are running through my head. Now, she also has kind of a recessed vulva. So it's, or hooded, whatever, however you want to call it. Um, obviously with her heat, she's swelling up, but as the vet said, um, vaginas aren't sanitary. They're pretty gross. So, um, it's pretty common to get vaginitis or a bladder infection. Now, when I took her in to get her checked, we looked at her with an ultrasound, we got to see her bladder, uterus, all that stuff. Everything looked normal. So, um, with hormones and stuff like that, it's really, really common for vaginitis. Now, with that, um, you have to start your antibiotics when you notice it um, so that it doesn't travel to the bladder and to the puppies and stuff like that, if, if you've bred them already. Um, so with that, got antibiotics. If it doesn't clear up, then we have to go back and get... Um, what does she call it? I forget what she called it, but basically she would just like, oh, a culture. We get a culture and then um, see what exactly it is and then do like a, like a custom um, medication to kill whatever it is that's in there. But hopefully within the week, it'll be gone. No worries. But um, yeah, so Pio, super scary. Um, your dog can actually die from it. Once I saw that her fluids were changing over to like full blown blood, um, I wasn't as worried anymore, but being the person that I am, I still wanted to take her and get her some antibiotics just to take care of anything that might be in there. So she um, stuck a swab up in there, rubbed it on um, like a microscope slide and then checked it out underneath the microscope to see if there was any um, you know, bacteria, white blood cell. She said the white blood cell count was up. Um, she did have a little bit of a fever, which I didn't notice here at home, but, um, but yeah, so they took her temp, they gave her some, some antibiotics and all that good stuff. So, um, I'll do a blog on Pio at some point, but, um, 
have a bunch of more blogs coming out with matching videos. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, if you ever notice anything different about your dog or something that's not right, take them to the vet, have them checked out. So that's it. That's it for today. Have a good day, guys.